all right my people welcome back onto this channel well onto the matter yoruba nation no going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are still talking about my brother my sister this is so serious well onto the news reaching us it has been gathered that lagos bus train crash if not for this cashless policy my daughter wouldn't have followed that boss father of diseased cries out all right my brother my sister this is another serious one this is exactly what we are talking about well when we say the people should as a matter of urgency go their separate ways that there is nothing like one nigeria some set of people will be talking trash all right look at what is happening in the country right now a lot of innocent souls are dying on a daily basis until because of the carelessness of the leaders in this country look at what cashless policy had cost to this young vibrant lady who had just passed on well the fact remains that we all need to wake up some sort of people are still sleeping if everybody had woken up i'm very sure the country will not be the way it is right now if everybody can just know well, face it squarely that there is nothing that will make me to collect any money to vote for any politician you can imagine what the Ikorodu women some of these Ikorodu women came out to be telling us that this uh, saturday governorship election they will not vote because the money they promised them during the uh, presidential election that they voted they said if they vote for Bola Metinubu, they will pay them. That till now, they have not paid them. So because of that, they will not vote in this coming governorship election. Then another reason that, that is to tell you, this set of people that are actually voting, they did not vote because they wanted to vote or because they love to vote. They voted simply because they were paid. And if they are not paid, they will not vote. You can imagine. You can imagine the kind of country we are in. So who is not deceiving who? When you don't even have the mind to even vote for your, for your candidate from the bottom of your heart, meaning the person you actually wanted to vote for did not was not the person you voted for. But you voted for that person you voted for simply because they promised to give you money. I think a lot of us need to you know, understand where this is taking us to we need to understand what is going on right now a lot of people right now as far as this country is concerned are frustrated many people are dying simply because of the you no know, carelessness of our leaders well according to the news reaching us right now it had been gathered according to this this page it says lagos bus train crash if not for this cashless policy, my daughter wouldn't have followed that bus. And the father of the disease cries out. This is so pathetic, my brother. Well, on to the news, Femi Aino, father of Oreolua, deceased of the Thursday accident when a legal state government, LASG, lax bus, collided with a train in the pwd area of the state as said if not for this cashless nonsense policy his daughter a national youth service corps members nyc would not have followed the bus yes my brother my sister this is another thing that we have to tackle a lot of things had gone wrong simply because of the greed i will not even say it's carelessness no not that the set of people are even careless simply because the people in position of authority are just mean and wicked because if we say they are negligence or they are carelessness we will say oh they do not understand they do not know that it will happen they were thinking it will not happen or they did not even no, think about that. But the truth of the matter is, they actually know what is causing a lot of people to die unnecessarily. In fact, they are actually the cause of it. Simply because they are wicked. 
simply because they are men. Now, the father of this disease talked about cashless policy. According to the statement, it has been gathered that in its words, if not for this cashless nonsense policy, she would not have followed that bus. But she did not have cash, okay? Because she did not have cash, so she had to follow the bus. She had just 200 naira. They just killed they just kill people anyhow in this country. That's according to the to the father. Well, according to the statement, it says Ainam says in an interview pointed out that his late daughter was preparing for masters in UK. Hmm. The diseased father explained that he was in Abuja watching television around 9 a.m. when he saw the incident. An hour after that, he got a call that his daughter was involved in it. Well, then, according to him, I immediately called my younger brother and then sister in Lagos. I later received two more calls in another 10 minutes. And then by then, she was already in the ICU intensive care unit. They were attending to her and then at the same time calling me from there well orelua was very dear to me hmm. she was a gift from god to me and then what and that is what her name implies she feared god and then she was hard working according to the statement it says i quote i even had some of the staff members paying praying for her so I rushed to the airport to get any available flight back to Lagos. But when my plane was ready to take off by 4 p.m., I was told that she had passed away. He said, oh my God, what a pity. Well, according to him, the last time he communicated with her was on Wednesday when his younger brother's wife celebrated a birthday. She recorded the birthday and then sent it to hers. We all laughed at the video and the following morning, Thursday, she sent a WhatsApp message to me saying, Daddy, how was your night? Hope you slept well. And I replied, all is well. And there was no response after then. I even thought she did not respond because she ran out of data not knowing that she was already involved in an accident he added speaking about orelua 28 deceased he said orelua was very dear to me she was a gift from god to me and then that is what her name implies she feared god and she was hard working i used to tell her that she took the job like she was already a staff member of the state government. She was a very nice girl with visions and ambitions. She was preparing to go to the United Kingdom for a master's program after her youth service ends in May, but unfortunately, all her plans had been dashed. She happened to be the first grandchild of my parents and then she stayed with my mom here in Lagos because her dad our dad, our dad passed away last year, so she had always been with her grandmother. She was there to everyone around, including church work, church workers, school, and at work. Our death is a great loss. The newsguru.com TNG reports that late Orelua studied pure and applied chemistry at Oshun State University until her death. She was undergoing a one-year NYC service with the state government and then aimed at getting a meritorious award. All right, my brother, my sister, what a pity. Our prayer is that our gentle souls will rest in perfect peace. And also we pray that the good Lord will give the family fortitude to bear this loss all right my brother my sister this is exactly what it is right now on to this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take my people on this and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless